You know what I mean? Free your mind, dogs. Learn something, man. Learn something. People in those positions of power control and manipulate situations into their favor for their own agenda. Laws being changed, the FDA putting ingredients in certain foods for certain reasons. Mostly their agenda is population control, mind control. You're being manipulated. We're all being manipulated, you know what I'm saying? You learn that they infiltrate groups and key positions in those groups so they can control the decision making to move things to move with their agenda to control uh, the mass popular opinion and to control the world to cross this book one day called The President's Bloodline, you know what I mean? And basically it showed how all the U.S. presidents were all related through marriage or cousins or bloodline all the way back to the kings and queens of Europe. That's not a democracy, that's, that's a secret society. <laughs> Free your mind, dogs. Learn something, man. It was in the verse. You, you on LL Cool J's I Shot Your Remix. And you said, Illuminati want my mind, soul, and my body. Illuminati want my mind, soul, and my body. Secret society trying to keep the army. I don't know if we all knew what you meant at the time. I wanted to put what I was learning into the music, but I didn't want to turn the fans off. So I decided to, like, plant seeds. People are not going to understand what I'm talking about yet, but it's going to make them curious. It's a group that was uh, formed like in the 1700s, something like that, 1600s. This dude named Adam Weishaupt. He started this group of people, like powerful, rich people that basically could shape popular opinion and the way, you know, the world is gonna move forward. The word means like the illuminated ones. Light is like information, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you see the light now. For example, look at the pyramids. Nobody understands how those pyramids were built. These are the people that had that knowledge. I, Horus, the pyramid, those are artifacts and things from, from black culture. They represent certain things of our people from ancient black history of, of Egypt. You know what I mean? Ancient Egypt. You got these group of people they, they break into the tombs. They steal the riches like the gold and the mummies and they rape and pillage our culture. They got you thinking your own people and your own artifacts and your own symbolism is evil. Hegelian. Hegelian <laughs> dialectic yeah. is the name of the new album. The Hegelian dialectic. Yeah. Um, talk to me about this album. It's basically like my magnum opus. It's what my, my, my magnum opus type of album. When I first dropped that seed, from that point on, I would keep dropping little seeds here and there, here and there. Just building up to the point where we can have a full conversation about this. Beyond any place you could imagine in your imagination. Mommy was my spaceship. It took a nine months to get me here. I finally made it. People need to know this story. People need to know this story. So I burn brighter. Today's topic of interest is the real reason for the assassination of Prodigy of Mug Deep. And yeah, it goes deep. So hold on to your seat. So yeah, it's a classic example of what we see time and time again in the entertainment industry. When any high profile individual awakens to the true nature of the game of play on earth in this day and age and begins to fearlessly speak on it. Now we give salutations and respect to Prodigy because he became very aware of what he'd gotten into. As somebody who'd contracted to various record labels in exchange for finance and position in the industry, he knew that if he spoke on the truth that he'd awoken to, he'd most certainly be taken up. This is a standard clause in many contracts. Prince, Michael Jackson, Tupac, Lisa Lefty Lopez are but a few examples of artists who shared the same fate. Now along with the knowing that he'd be targeted, he also knew that the flesh body was not himself and that by revealing the truth en masse with the level of influence that he had, he'd be able to redeem himself to some extent within the immortal soul. So let's get into this now. What truth had Prodigy become aware of? Firstly, he came to see the true nature of the energetic, mental and spiritual warfare being waged upon all people of the earth. Secondly, 
we saw that the warfare was mostly concentrated upon black people in order to harvest their high solar charge to fuel the demonic paradigm that we see running rife on earth in this day and age. Thirdly, he was very well aware of members of the entertainment industry such as Jay-Z who also know the true nature of the spell being cast over the people but have chosen to accept a higher rank in the social order in exchange for further warping the minds of the people knowing that it's the collective mind that governs the collective reality. That's right people, you're living in a world where most are under intense mind control and they have no idea about it and Prodigy began to expose this. Prodigy had become very well aware of what was happening and begun to expose it through his books and music. He also openly expressed his disagreeance with influential members of the entertainment industry who have chosen to further worsen this condition in exchange for money and social status. Through the energetic frequencies of music and sound, advocating drug and alcohol use, degrading of women and the destruction of fellow brethren, many influential entertainers help to mentally and energetically control the people who tune into that frequency which leads the observers and the whole world further down the path of death and destruction. It's rife and it goes far deeper than I even care to express on the internet. But because Prodigy was exposing much of this, he was assassinated as are most who truly have the influence and ability to reach large numbers of people and change the collective condition. Now I will make another video soon on why people are able to be killed in accordance with universal law because we are the creators of our reality and are far beyond the effect of the lower realms unless we consciously or unconsciously contract to be reachable by the lower forces. But we'll end this transmission here and say rise in power to prodigy of Mogdi. Your legacy lives on and may thy soul essence return to the creator of all to be reformed, renewed as greater energy to yeah. fuel our eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the show, please settle in Make yourself at home, please settle in Gather around gentlemen and ladies, you don't wanna miss this Shit bout to get real, you bout to learn some real shit One hand in the air if you not scared I said, one hand in the air if you not scared There's no need to be afraid, take a leap of faith Step into the darkness, I promise you it's great Learn the secret teachings of all ages This is mystic information, you're now taking The journey of a lifetime, let go of the flesh Let the spirit overpower you, get possessed by the ancient Forces of brightness Without the black dark, how would you know what light is? Without pain and death, how would you know how good life is? This is not for the weak hearted and weak minded There's no way that he could have choked on an egg I don't lie when I say you It's definitely not a joke, man. There's it, it, a lot of real stuff going on out here in this in this world. It, secret societies of real, you know, um, it's definitely very obvious, you know, that um, they're at work and it's, it's at play in, in the music industry, in the food industry, politics, everywhere you turn is everywhere. Um, you just got to read the signs, you know what I mean? The writing on the wall, basically. It's all in front of your face, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, once people just learn about it and do a little research about it all, they'll be able to see, like, oh, wow, this, yeah, I understand what's going on, you know what I mean? Absolutely. You've got the floor. Lay it out. Break it down. I mean, this, Lay it this out. Break ladder. it down. I mean, this. You start seeing things that you ain't recognized before. Like, oh, wow, this is, this is kind of deep, son. It's some other shit. It's not what you thought it was. Dug yourself into a hole? Mr. I need answers. But this welcome. is new to me. Havoc, welcome. You know, um, <sighs> I don't lie when I say you all are a part of my personal life every single day. Thank you. Thank every you. day. Thank you. I need answers. I just want to warn you guys, what I'm about to show you next might shock you. There's no way that he could have chosen that. I don't lie. Now, that sort of thing doesn't just slip out of your tongue, okay? 
Now. It's definitely not a joke, man. It, it, it's a lot of real stuff going on out here in this in this world. It, secret societies are real. You know, um, it's definitely very obvious. You know that um, something is clearly off. That's a secret society. I mean, free your mind, dogs. Learn something, man. Every day. Very, very um, upset to to hear that Prodigy passed away. One half of the duo. He was only 42 years old. It really feels like I'm, I'm, we're breaking down and it's some sort of alien life form here, okay? That's been trained to mimic human behavior. I, you know, a lot of stuff happened, happened along the way. I think, um, you know, there were real learning points and turning. But what, what is it? Why is the man? Yeah, it's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. I have sources. I have reliable sources that's telling me that you're a reptile. Okay? The show cut. Is it so that during your shedding period, people won't find out? Well, I know. Because from one reptile to another. I mean, from one part. Uh, I, I know. Okay, I just know. I have sources. I have reliable sources that's telling me that you're a reptile. Okay. Is suing the Kardashians for getting her show canceled. She's blaming them because allegedly there are emails alleging that Chloe and Kylie leaked the emails alleging that allegedly <laughs> fake Kylie is saying it's an alleged fake relationship. Do you think? And and China just wants publicity. Do you think? And and even promised the Kardashians would film extra episodes. It really feels like I'm I'm. We're breaking down, and it's some sort of alien life form here, okay? That's been trained to mimic human behavior. Uh, do you think? Do you think? They cut away to the audience, you know? They, they have his drone sitting in the back. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got a code raid over here. I just wants publicity. Do you think? Have a seat, come on. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you know how much our people love you? How much? Watch this. Hot damn hope. Hot as a right. Or, or light as a rock, <laughs> hard as a what? Pen. <laughs> That's right. Look, they, they try. That's, you know. <laughs> All right, not as catchy, not as catchy. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> that has to be an inside joke. Please, at least let that be an inside joke. Oh my. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That has to be an inside, you know, locked in a prison. You know, I wanted to show them that I still had no fear in my heart, you know, about speaking my mind and letting people know what time it is. It was, there's no reason for me to fear because it's really nothing, there's nothing they can do besides kill me. And, and I'm not afraid of that, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, I, I always say, like, God always wins at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Uh, good always going to be evil at the end of the day, man. No matter how bad it's looking, you know what I mean? No matter what's going on, you know what I mean? Um, good is always going to win. You know what I mean? Um, but right now, you know what I mean? The devil definitely got the world in the headlock. You know what I mean? It, it's crazy. It's definitely crazy. And it's at the point where they got it, they got it so far, like I said, they don't even care. They'll put it. They put it all in our face. You know what I mean? The information. It's the information age. It's everywhere. It's all over the internet. What's going?